So a few months ago now, I filmed the video at the Bullers of Buchan and I said back then that one day in the near future I would go back to that area, to Slane's Castle, to film a video. Tonight I am really in the mood to go out and film some videos, take some photos. However, it is very, very overcast here tonight. Not good for my normal landscape photography images. But what it is good for is going to explore an ancient old ruined castle in the hope of getting some mysterious and eerie photos and tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different and something which I've never done or photographed on this channel before. So here we are, welcome to Slane's Castle by Cruden Bay in the Aberdeenshire coast. was originally built in the 16th century but it has been renovated so many times since then. Unfortunately it was left to ruin in I think 1930 something and it's just been like this ever since. But in its heyday this castle had 14 bedrooms and seven main reception rooms. It's absolutely huge and it is situated on the backdrop of an absolutely stunning coastal view. Dracula, right? This castle here is to believe to have been the inspiration for Count Dracula. Bram Stoker, who wrote that book, is believed to have stayed here regularly for 17 years back in the 19th century. And it is believed that one day, on a stormy day, he was sitting at this castle overlooking the sea, and that is where the idea for Dracula came from. There's so many turrets here, it's fascinating. And this one in particular will be a great spot for the photography things that I have got planned tonight. Stay tuned, something very different, very eerie, and very mysterious. Oh, and it goes along the line of what this place is all about, the inspiration for Dracula. earlier this side of the castle was right beside a sheer cliff base but the other side of the castle over here which is now kind of farmland and grassiness it was once home to a massive walled garden one record says one walled garden and one I read says three not only that but it was also home to a tennis court this place must have been amazing in its heyday full of life full of people People with so much money. I just, I did look at some of the photos before I came here today of what this place looked like in its heyday and I was honestly blown away. If I can, I will put some links in the description to some of these images so that you can have a look at them yourself. But when you come to ruined places, sometimes, you know, your, your imagination runs wild. You don't really know what you're going to see, you don't know what you're going to discover. So when you can find old pictures of what it actually looked like, it can be fascinating sometimes because, like I say, once this place was was full of life, full of people, obviously worth a hell of a lot of money. And now, it's just this ruined building, crumbling apart, with still some nice intricate details. I did see there's a couple of bits here that I'm really surprised about. Really intricate kind of stone mason masonry work that still survives. And I just think that's fascinating. How certain parts of these buildings survive, certain parts crumble. But what a location for a castle. 
What a location. A staircase to nowhere. So the final bit to explore is this dark, cavernous, dungeon type area. weird underground bit. I did a bit of research when we came here tonight and it's believed that it's either a kitchen storage area or some weird underground crypt. But it's pretty cool. this massive spiral staircase. Just when you think, I literally thought we'd seen everything. But it's never ending. And we've got the gorgeous sea view out every single window, every point of this turret, which gave the guy his inspiration for Dracula. I mean, just look at it. I'm seeing so many photo opportunities. I've got to so this place is actually bigger and more fun to explore than I remember it to be. It's been many years since I've been here. And at this rate, this video's gonna have to be a two-parter. With this part being an Explore Scotland video, and part two being all the photography based around this gorgeous place. Because it's the middle of the summer, there's quite a lot of other people here, which is putting me off getting my camera out just now because of the ideas that I've got. But I'm going to do some images in a few minutes because we're starting to get some nice golden light now. We're getting near the sunset. And then once everybody else has left and it goes in towards twilight, we're going to do the images that I came here and I plan to do tonight. Just look at this. This place, honestly, is extraordinary.
Again, we thought we'd seen it all, but we've now ended up in another underground cavern. <laughs> this is like an episode of Most Haunted. This castle just keeps giving and giving, but this literally is the last place that we haven't explored yet. Years ago I would have been too scared to come down here, but it's fascinating. Maybe this is the old kind of crypt bunker that they were on about. It's amazing. And there's a little, a little bit down here, which you can see there would have been old steps going down to. Full of rubble. Yeah, so this video is definitely too long to be one video. So, this is the end of part one. Tune into part two to find out what cool photos we're going to take throughout Slimes Castle. I'll see you all then. But after sunset, Ed is going to wear this cape and we're going to do some Dracula themed photographs. So a third image of the night, I've come into this kind of turret here and I'm looking up 